A former Perth airport tunnel worker claims he's being punished for exposing dangerous practices on the trouble-plagued project. Rain and Howells was filed in February, fired in February, just days after the video was leaked. I think I was fairly naive throughout the whole project. Rain and Howes says he's speaking out for his former workmates. They're cut, cutting costs on a lot of things to the point that it puts you at danger. The 30-year-old says he was unfairly sacked from the airport tunnel project all because of this video he filmed two months ago leaked by his colleague to Nine News. Uh, it was purely to make an example out of me and... That's what I was told. These are the other videos he now wants you to see. A welder with no helmet or harness, his co-worker directly in the firing line. Are you sort of forced to turn a blind eye to what's going on? Oh, definitely. Even the safety department, they're pretty good at that. Slippery surfaces, mechanical breakdowns and flooding. All a common sight. Out of the year and a half that I worked there, they never had one fire safety drill, any drill of any kind, any evacuation drill. Most shocking, he says, the lack of monitoring during pressurised drilling, the most dangerous part of the job. You look out the window and there's almost no one there. The person that's there, meant to be there watching you has wandered off or... There's only one of them. Construction company Cellini denies Rain and Howe's allegations, but he's not the first person to expose safety concerns on the project, and unions say there's a lot to answer for. Dealing with the safety issues by sacking people on this job um, is just not, not the way to go. It's an absolute disgrace, particularly a state government project. We take the issues of safety very seriously, and that's why um, over the past year we've increased the amount of compliance officers. Louise Rennie, Nine News.